Angel hair pasta with lemon, cream, and caviar, so good. Super easy. This would be a great impress me appetizer at home and great for competition because it's fast. I've got some pasta water on and I've got about four ounces of angel hair pasta. Angel hair pasta, super thin. This cooks quickly. So you wanna be ready with everything. Then you drop your pasta and you hang out and you wait. Two, three minutes or so and it's done, right? I'm gonna get to that in a second. I'm gonna start to build the base for this extremely complex sauce. It's not complex at all. It's just great ingredients. One cup of cream and one cup of sour cream. Full fat, you know what I'm saying? No, you can't sub Greek yogurt, don't ask me. Don't at me and don't ask me. Over a nice low heat, nice and easy, we're just gonna start to melt those two ingredients together. Tiny pinch of salt. We've got salt from the caviar and salt from the pasta, so we don't wanna salt this too heavily. Just stirring and warming gently. These are two sensitive ingredients, right? They're both divas, so we just want a nice and easy. As your water is boiling for your pasta, you're just putting this together. We're gonna reduce it a little bit, let it develop a little bit more body and thicken up and get smooth. Now for the pasta water, I'm gonna salt that generously. Um, whether I'm competing, whether I'm at home, whether I'm alone, anywhere, I put the salt in my water as it comes to a boil, not before. I don't salt the water and then bring it to a boil because I don't want the water reducing with salt in it. If your water becomes overly salty and you cook your pasta, the pasta drinks in all that salt and it's ruined. So just bring your water to a simmer over high heat, mix your salt in, just sprinkle it, and then stir the water a little bit. You need to pay attention. Your pasta water needs loving. So our pasta water is ready. I get a lot of questions about olive oil in pasta water. I don't want olive oil in my pasta water for this dish because the cream, the caviar, it doesn't invite. The, the aggressive flavor of olive oil doesn't fit this dish. Also, when you put oil in your pasta water and you drain your pasta, your pasta has the, it's coated with that oil. So what do you think happens to your pasta when you try to drop it in sauce? It just slides right off the sauce because it's coated with oil. It's like covering yourself with suntan lotion and then jumping in the pool. Same idea, right? We're greasy. Now, if you're doing a garlic and oil pasta, okay, it makes sense. But for a dish like this, we definitely don't want that. So that's starting to simmer and reduce. That's almost at a boil. I wanna be ready. I've got my plate where I'm gonna plate my dish. Sometimes that's helpful to even know. I've got some nice, super fine chives here. The finer you can get the chives for this, the better. You can also add a tiny bit of dill. If you wanna be a little more budget friendly than just caviar, you can use trout roe or salmon roe, which is a lot cheaper. Or you can just do pasta with lemon and cream. You want a lot of chives for this, right? Give it a little whisk if you need to, just to make sure it's smooth. You can see it's reducing and thickening. You can see it's bubbling and reducing and getting nice and thick. Right, I'm starting to see the traces of the whisk in the pan on the bottom. To my mind, that means it's done. I look for that, the trace of the whisk, and I just shut it off. So this sauce is poised as the ideal creamy jacuzzi for this angel hair, and I'm gonna drop it in the water. Now, angel hair is so delicate, I don't even mind that this water is not boiling completely. I can just drop it in there. I know it's salted, I've got a spider, and I'm just literally gonna stir this pasta right into the water. We're gonna want a little bit of this pasta water for our sauce, so we'll keep that in mind. You're kinda, you're playing three instruments in the orchestra at once. You're chopping chives, you're managing that sauce, and you're cooking the pasta. Once the pasta drops though, it's over. You know what I mean? It's game time. I'm gonna actually, just with a measuring cup, set aside some of that nice starchy pasta water for myself in case I wanna loosen the sauce. Just keep your eye on this. This is so delicate, this pasta. And I want the pasta to sit in this sauce for a minute or two, so I wanna factor that timing in, right? Where I take it out, it's almost still not quite cooked. You see how it's getting bendy, but it's still got that firmness? That's what we're looking for here. If you cook a more robust pasta, like a bucatini or a spaghetti, then you have a little more time on your hands, a little more forgive. Angel hair does not forgive you. So I'm gonna take this out a little early. See how it's still a little stiff. 
It's pre al dente. Drain it and drop it right in this sauce. And I don't mind if a little bit of that water goes into the sauce. We, we like that. And then gently you stir it. Because you see it's gonna finish cooking here. I mean, look at this. You fold and you flip it over and look at that. But it is a little thick. That's when I'm happy I have a little bit of this pasta water that can come in here as the great facilitator. You can see it's still a little firm, right? And we want that, because that buys us a couple of minutes sitting in this sauce, getting creamy. You notice I spread it out in a big pan. So I have nice surface area, and it's just drinking in that cream and that sour cream. Time for the lemon zest and some juice. When you zest, you definitely want to zest lightly and move the lemon all around. So you're just getting that outer, outer skin. And a few grates goes a long way. You'd be surprised. You can always add more, by the way. All you're gonna smell is cream and lemon. Not a bad place to be. Chives in there. And then stir. So we've got the chives in there, we've got the seasoning. It's that happy medium of coated and yet saucy. And before you plate it, you definitely wanna get in here and just have like a little spoonful or two, little bite, without the caviar first to gauge the saltiness. Mm. Oh yeah, could actually use a little more lemon. You'll notice whenever people are cooking on TV, they're like, it's perfect. It isn't. So I'm gonna add more lemon. I've got a little bit of chive left for my garnish. Got a little plate. Stir. And this is fun. This is just playing a little game with some lemon zest and cream. So to plate it, you can actually just use a fork or a larger pasta fork. You can gather it up and come to the corner of the pan and just twirl, right? Like you're making a ginormous bite for yourself. And then drop it in the middle. Hide your little, you know, your tailpiece, so to speak. You've got that little swirl. And then come in the corner here. And you're gonna have some of that cream. More chives. Think about every bite. And then the scoop. And I don't mind if I do there in the middle. Now I'm just showing off. Maybe a little more. I am fussing. And then there we are. The perfect snack. ICAG style.